What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen and this is Valley Buzzsaw. In today's video, I'm finishing off my cardboard cottage. If you missed part one of this video series, I'll link to it below so you can go check it out. My beach cottage kind of went more farmhouse barn, but I wasn't mad at it. In fact, I leaned in and I'm so glad I did. Today, I'm finalizing all the details of this little cardboard barn. If you like DIY projects, then like this video. I do stuff like this along with DIY home improvement and cleaning motivation. I post on Fridays and some Sundays, so subscribe to my channel and do all the things to get notifications. You can see that I got started this week by priming everything to a solid coat of white craft acrylic. In fact, I used so many paints in this DIY, it was hard to keep track. But I'll put an Amazon link to all the materials I'm using down in the description. You don't pay any extra, but I make a little every time you shop through one of my links. That helps me to keep making videos, and I totally appreciate the support. Once the house had a coat of white, I did the same with the base. Though, you'll see that I end up coating this later, so it wasn't super critical, but the brush was already full of paint, so... I zoomed you all in so you could see me finalize paint details like the window trim, but instead you got this for a full minute. Yeah, that seems right. Anyway, moving on. I finalized the colors for all the parts of the house, and I get started on the first coat. I liked the lighter blue color, and maybe I'll try that if I ever accomplish a beach cottage design, but this house needed the navy. I tried to be careful around the trim, but miniatures aren't like real trim. My shaky hands ensured a bunch of cleanup, so at some point I stopped trying to be as careful. I gave the whole thing two full coats before moving on to the door. Let me just reiterate in case you're new here, this DIY is not created to scale, a startling fact that will only become more clear as this video goes on. I'm building this whole thing for fun, honestly, and it really has been fun. If I get more into this world of miniatures, I'll learn more and use actual measurements, but for now, it's all about making something I've never made before and not getting too caught up in the other stuff. I got two solid coats of red on the door too before moving on to touch-ups on the white. That took me forever, but I'll spare you the lengthy monotony. Like I said, I used a lot of different paint colors in this build. For the roof, I plan to add rust because, honestly, who hears the phrase tin roof without adding rusted to the end, right? Plus, I think it just looks more barn-like. I tried silver on the white, but it wasn't strong enough, so I went with a solid coat of gray first, then went back in with silver on top of that. to add the rust, and you all know I love faux finishing, so this was my favorite part. I used a fan brush and added a brown wash to dull everything out and dampen the surface. Then I went back in with a less watered down reddish brown color. I pulled some off with a rag and used my hands. I did multiple coats using slightly different tones to get more realistic rust vibes. I 
tried to let you see more close-up stuff, but again, apparently I didn't know how to shoot video. As my grandpa would say back in the day, you make a better door than a window. Anyway, I dotted the roof with some spotty pit marks using dark paint. Then it was time to start the base. In the last episode, I said I might have to build a new base, but this is actually the same one. I just put a bunch of heavy books onto this for about a week and it flattened out enough for my purposes. Which is good because I didn't really have a backup plan. After figuring out the house placement, I went over the rest of the surface with a chip brush filled with joint compound. Again, if I get into this as a more serious hobby, I'll invest in things like static grass or other realistic ground covers. For my purposes though, the stipple compound will act as grass. While the compound was still wet, I created a pathway out of my Crayola air dry clay. I wanted something textured to look like this farmer laid out a bunch of slate tiles or something. So I used some clay sculpting tools and gave it random texture. While all of that dried, I had time to start working on the various accessories. When I think farm at this time of year, I can't help but thinking of apple picking. But I don't have the stuff on hand to create leaves, so we'll just assume this is early spring. I created a basic armature with aluminum foil and covered it with air dry clay. I went pretty sloppy with this, only making sure the clay fully covered the foil, but leaving the surface rough like bark would be. created a swing from clay and carved into it to create a weathered wood effect like the tree bark has. I also created a couple other accessories off camera, including a small clay person and a ladder from popsicle sticks. Then I painted everything. Actually, I think it's time for an accessories painting montage. I used some thin jute that I have on hand to mimic rope and attach the swing to the tree branch using Aline's clear gel tacky glue. It held eventually, but this glue dries a bit slower, so things kept popping up for a few minutes. I 
I held everything down until it stayed put. Then I used my favorite Modern Masters dead flat varnish to dull out the roof. The last thing to add were windows. I used the bag that my clay sculpting tools came in and cut it down so it would fit all four windows at the same time. Moraline's held these securely in place. The last thing I had to do was paint the edge of the base. Once that dried, I could add all my pieces and this farmhouse barn cardboard cottage was complete. for this cardboard cottage farmhouse barn build. If you like DIY projects, like the video so I'll know to keep making stuff like this. And subscribe to the channel for videos on Fridays and some Sundays. Don't forget to leave a comment letting me know what you think of my early attempt at a farmhouse diorama. But again, I know none of this is to scale, so please be kind. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Happy New Year!